heads was given to a group of museum studies students at the Institute of Archaeology to research um, to see if they could find any more information about it so we could start using them a bit better. The only kind of clue we had was a tag that said, um, I think, number 34, murderer, and then it said his name, but the script was very difficult to read, so we weren't quite sure actually what his name was. They did an excellent job. Um, and um, were able to find a publication written by Noel, which was in the British Library. As far as we know, it's the only in the country. I found the book and I was kind of reading through it and realised exactly what it was. I was smiling oddly and probably the people around me thought it was a little strange. In the book, it contained all the information we could want to know about his uh, collection. Uh, so this is a huge advantage. Um, it means that we can now actually start calling them by their real names, which is something, um, but also we can start trying to look into a bit about why they were in the collection and, and what it was they did. What's so interesting is the way that Noel writes about it and sets up these casts uh, and sets up notions of criminality before even showing us the cast. And so we've been able to, um, to look at the way that he interpreted these heads uh, and to look at some of the stories about the individuals uh, behind the heads, if you like, which are absolutely fascinating. I think the most interesting ones are the criminals. These are heads that were cast, both from life and from death, by a British phrenologist uh, called Robert Knoll. And he was specifically interested in collecting uh, the heads of criminals, collecting the heads of uh, intellectuals uh, and um, assessing their personalities uh, and their character traits uh, by, um, by examining the heads. It's very exciting to have been a part of that and to have helped UCL in being able to use the collection more. I think personally too, a lot of times when you do a research paper or a report, you know, someone marks it and that's the end of it. So for us to be able to produce a report and find out all this research and know that someone else is using it and someone else is benefiting from it, so I think just personally that's satisfying. They're a, a unique collection anywhere really in the UK. They're the only collection really of these types of cast heads which have a, had a phrenological basis. Mm -hmm.